Well, uh, I had a great, so far I had a great couple of days of workouts here in Beijing. So fitness wise, I'm great. Uh, I'm ready to go. Feeling great. Excited. Uh, I'll be more excited as the days go by when I get closer to my first round. So I'm just looking forward to coming out here and running a better race than I have uh, this year so far. It's weird just seeing how the spikes have changed in the past year, throughout the years. Just seeing that when Jesse Owens ran, the spikes were long and sharp, and now we're having so much technology into our spikes. It's just so amazing to see the progress of track and field. It, it, it hasn't affected it at all. Uh, I mean, I know what I did wrong in those races. Uh, I didn't run my race like I usually do. I, I got out fine, but I, I backed off a little bit down the back stretch and let them get away instead of keep going like I usually do. So uh, that's in my past, you know. I use that to my advantage. If I lose, uh, I, I build on it. I, I look at what I did wrong. I knew what I did wrong before the race was even over with. So uh, that's the thing about me. I could tell what I done wrong before my, I even talked to my coach. You know, uh, Muhammad Ali was a great, a great competitor. When he's in the ring, he's kind of like what doing what I did, what I'm trying to do right now. When he's in the ring, he knew he was going to win, and people were like, "Well, I got to fight Muhammad Ali." I'm trying to do the same thing on the track, making sure everyone when they step on the track, I got to run against you and run. Oh my God, what do I do? How do I beat him? What can I do differently to beat him that someone else that hasn't done? So that. That's basically what Michael was telling me I need to do. And that's a good way to explain it right there. When he was in the ring, a lot of people were scared to fight him. You know, uh, that's not the fact for me. I, I have a lot of goals set for myself that I want to achieve. Uh, even though I've, I've won an Olympic gold medal, I've won two uh, world championship medals, and now I'm here in Beijing to defend my title, I have so many goals that I want to uh, I want to achieve to where I'm, I'm still striving for something more, even though I've done a lot. I still want the world record. Uh, I still want to run 40, be the first one to run 42 seconds, and I want to try and get the 4x4 world record while I'm at it. So I got a lot of stuff in front of me that I want to try and do. Oh no, definitely not at all. Uh, having someone like Lashawn behind me running. Uh, being able to run times like I do, it helps me. It makes me train harder at practice, motivates me more to make sure I do what I need to do to get better to where when I step on the track, I'm going to have to run faster than I have the, in my, and faster than I did the years before because I know he's, gonna, he's capable of running something that fast, so I'm going to just have to run even faster. Yeah. All right, okay. Why did you want the silver one? Yeah, it's better than none. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll you like the color? Okay, man. You like them? New style? There. I, I believe I can do it. Uh, I know in my heart I can, and the way I've been training, I know I can. I'm ready for it. It's just a matter of putting everything in at the right time, uh, running, the, running exactly how I need to, competitors be there and just go for it and not worry about anything else. So at the Olympics, I know it's going to be a little difficult because I want to win. I want to uh, uh, defend my title, but at the same time, I want to break the world record. You know, uh, I want to defend my title. Michael's the only one uh, to ever defend his title in the 400. He has two gold medalists in there. So I'm trying to do the same thing, and then hopefully uh, in 2012 I'll be fortunate enough to try and defend uh, another one and get the third one if I win here. So uh, that, that, that really strives me this year to, to try and work harder to make sure I get my title back.